Okay, welcome Year 8s to this next video. As you can see, we're looking at our next success criteria, which is finding the median from a stem and leaf plot. Before we start, um, the reason we can do this so easily with a stem and leaf plot is that the median value is our value that's in the middle of ordered data. Just as a reminder, we've done that in previous lessons now, but the reason that it's really easy from a stem and leaf plot is that a stem and leaf plot is ordered data. Um, when we did this in our previous, um, the previous video really that you watched, um, it would have been earlier in this lesson, uh, you would have seen that these are always put in order, which means that if we're trying to find the median, we just simply need to find the middle value that's in the stem and leaf plot. Now I'm going to show you two examples of this because sometimes, depending on whether you have an even number of values or an odd number of values, um, that, that can be um, determine really what, what you do with the middle. So with this first one, what you're going to see is we have an odd number of values. And because of that, we've got a value that's sitting right in the middle. Um, and then in the second one, we're going to see that there's an even number of values. And we actually get two numbers that are in the middle with that one. And that's where we need to average them. So if we have a look at this first one, I'll just zoom in a little bit first. Whenever you are doing this, uh, what you, you might want to do to start off with is actually count how many values you've got so that you can see whether you've got an odd number like this or whether you've got an even number like the next, next example. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 values. Hence why I said it had an odd number. And so from there we need to work out now, well, since we know there's 11 values, it means there is going to be one value in the middle. One value in the middle. And then consider how many values are remaining. So if there's one value in the middle, that means that there's 10 values left. And to find the middle, we can split that into two. So two groups of five. Five and another five. And so that's where this comes from. If you have a look at the solution for this one, the median is circled, it's 21. And the reason that's in the middle is because that value there, that's our one that's in the middle. And we've got five values that come before it. So that was this group of five here that I mentioned, and five values that come after it, which is that second group of five. So sometimes it's easier just to think about, okay, our median sitting in the middle, what's left over, split that into two groups. And then you could just count that from, from either the end one two three four five so the next one or one two three four five so the next one after that is our middle number so from there I would just simply state that the median would was 21 with the even number of values just zoom out a little bit with an even number of values that's what we're looking at here Let's count them up first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 values. Now because of this, that means we don't actually have one single number that sits in the middle. We actually will always have two values that are sitting um, directly in the middle. So what I'll say is that there are two middle values Then think about how many you've got left. If there's 14 altogether, two of them are in the middle. There's 12. 12 other values. And let's just split that. Six and then another six. So if we count one, two, three, four, five, six this way, and one, two, three, four, five, six this way, you can see your two that are in the middle. In this one, it's 68 and 70. So if 68 and 70 are the middle numbers, which we've just found, that means that the median has to be the middle of these two. Now to find the middle of two numbers, you are actually going to find the average of them, the mean of them. And so what you'll see here is to find the middle of 68 and 70, it's a pretty easy one because you can, um, you can just imagine on a number line between 68 and 70 is just 69. But sometimes you won't have easy numbers like that. So what you can do is add them together and divide by 2. And then we can see that our median for this one is 69. 
So there you have the two scenarios that you are going to come across. So it won't ever look any different to that. It is either an odd number of values or it's an even number of values. Where it will be different, obviously, is the two values that you've got. But if you remember that you're just adding them together and dividing by two, you'll be able to find the median very quickly from there. So in terms of what we're going to do to practice, it's just these questions down here. Uh, you'll see there are five of them. And what you'll also notice is underneath each one, it does actually have a little structure for you. So you can see where you are going to have to divide by two. Um, say this one here. And there's just little gaps for you to, to, um, to write your answers in. So this sheet, again, you would have either got it at the end of last term or you can download it from Google Classroom. If you aren't able to print, all I want you to do is make sure that you put uh, this part here into your summary book. So I'll just put a little box around it. Oops. So this is if you're not, if you cannot print it and pop it into your summary book, you will write this in your summary book. And again, if you are not able to print, you uh, just make sure these go into your workbook. Okay, so we'll, we'll be able to check our answers later on. Um, probably in our next lesson, we'll run through those. Um, but again, if you've got questions, you must make sure that you do ask those questions, please, uh, as we move forward with our online learning.